Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem forty six in chapter nine. In this chapter, we will talk about rotational motion. See, in this system, we can see we have two blocks are connected connected by a line string, and these two blocks are on a slope with different angle theta, right? The first one we need to draw the diagrams for each of the two uh, blocks. So first one we can see we consider this one as A, this one as object B. See, look at the first one, the object A, it must have gravity and the normal force from the slope and also the tension from the string, right? And there we don't consider the, uh, the it is tell us it is frictionless per, uh, surface, so we don't consider the friction force. So for A, only have three forces, gravity, normal force, tension. And similarly for B, we have the gravity always pointing down, the tension, FTB, and the normal force. And also for this pulley, on the string on the two sides of the pulley has the FTA and FTB. So this one, we draw the force. And the next one, we need to determine FTA and FTB. How can we decide it? See what is given. What quantity is given? First quantity is uh, mass A is given, mass B is given, theta A is given, theta B is given, acceleration is given, right? So first one, we can project the gravity A in two components. In the X component, it has mag sine theta A. In the Y component, see, mag cosine theta A. Therefore, we can write the Newton's second law on the x component. See, on the x component, we have FTA minus this, uh, this side, mag sine theta a equal to mass times acceleration. The acceleration is only on the x component. In this one, see, then we can write the function, FTA in this function. In this function, let's see, ma is given, theta a is given, acceleration is given. Therefore, you can get the FTA, that is the tension for the string A, 50 newtons. Similarly, we just uh, project the gravity B in two components, mbg cosine theta B and mbg sine theta B in two components, right? Now we look at the X component. So we use FTB minus this one. So see, because this acceleration is moved this way and then this way, right? So we have the mbg sine theta b minus ftb equal to mb times acceleration. And input the known quantities, we get the acceleration is 76 newton. The problem three asks us to find the net torque for the pulley. And then, how can we find the net torque and determine the momentum of a ratio? See, the torque for this one is net force times the radius r, right? And the r is given. Can you find the r? Yes, the r is given. 0 0.15 meter. So there were, because in progress we get the FTA, FTB. So this one is the torque. The next one, how can you find the momentum of a ratio? And we know the torque also equal to momentum of each momentum of a ratio times the angular acceleration alpha. And then the relationship between the linear acceleration and alpha is A equal to R times alpha, right? And in this one, you can input this alpha inside. You get this function and solve this function, you can get the I, momentum of a ratio in this function. Inside this function, you can see this one is given, this one is given, I is given. Acceleration is given, so you can get the final answer, 0 0.59 uh, kilogram uh, times meter squared. This is uh, not so difficult. Thank you.